All right, for the third uh, lesson here, let's uh, calculate energy cost. <clears throat> so, how much would all of these electricity use cost, assuming you have 15 cents a kilowatt hour? So our conversion factor here is one kilowatt hour is 15 cents. So let's look at the cost for uh, one kilowatt hour. So this is going to be your general technique. So if I have one kilowatt hour per day times 15 cents per kilowatt hour, again, this just treat this as a conversion factor. So it's 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So kilowatt hour, we'll cancel out with kilowatt hour, and they're left with dollars per day. Okay, so if I want to calculate this cost, basically what I'm going to do is take the total kilowatt hours, multiply it times 0.15. So we have an issue here. Um, I would like to insert this column right next to the energy use in kilowatt hours per day. So I can insert a column. If I click on the column, I can either hit insert if I want to. That'll work. I can right click and hit insert. Whichever way, it's all it's all the same. So I want to set energy, uh, we'll just call it cost in dollars per day. Okay. So remember, we're taking this and multiplying it times 0.15. So go in the cell, type equals, click on the cell, asterisk, and then 0.15. Click enter. And why does it do that? Hmm. Notice that we don't have any decimal places listed here. So I can, remember, I can increase my decimal. So if I do that, it starts to come out. And there you go. So we'll go to two decimal places, and it's 0.15. Now, the other thing here is this is in dollars. Now, it says dollars in the column heading, so that's okay. If you want to put a dollar sign here, you can actually just click the dollar sign, and it's going to pop it there for you. Okay, so that's my uh, cost in dollars per day. So let's do the same thing with the cost in kilowatt hours per month. So I want to insert a cell right here, or a column, excuse me. So let's just click Insert. So let's say cost in dollars per month. Okay, let's make this a little thinner. We don't need to take up that much space. And remember, it's equals. And now remember, it's this times 0.15. Good. Now let's make this dollars again, just so it gives us a couple decimal places. There you go. The last one, we don't need to insert a column, so we click here, type cost dollars per year. Okay, and it's equal. Now this is our kilowatt hours per year times 0.15. Click enter, and there you go. Let's change that to dollars just so we're clear. And there you go. Now you've calculated the energy cost. So in the next video, I will go over how to use a static reference to make this even easier.